welcome everyone let's continue with the lesson the flower uh, and this is part 3 video of this lesson for class 9 biology icsc curriculum okay so student in today's uh, lesson uh, we will uh, we will study a topic that is inflorescence and placentation so let's see what these are all right so let's first study about inflorescence student inflorescence is a mode of arrangement of a flower on the axis of a plant it means how uh, and on by which patterns the flowers are arranged on the axis of a plant so this uh, is known as a inflorescence and the flowers may be arranged in several different ways in different plants and these manner of arrangement is termed as inflorescence so in every each and every plant the flowers are arranged in different different manner on the axis of a plant and this um, uh, termed as inflorescence okay now student let's uh, understand the different types of inflorescence that means uh, how differently the flowers are arranged on a different plants let's see one by one okay so first is uh, in uh, first is a type in which flowers either at the apex apex means at the top of the main stem or at the terminal apex of the lateral branches branches so this type of uh, inflorescence in which the flowers are arranged at the apex of the main branch or the lateral uh, branches so this is uh, a type it is known as a raceme inflorescence okay and next type in which the flowers are arranged in the axis of the flower or uh, axis of the axis of the leaves and this type of inflorescence is known as a spike inflorescence okay and next type is growing out from the axils of different leaves and reaching the same level making a cluster that means here the flowers are growing up from the axils of different different leaves and reaching the same level making a cluster same level making a cluster and this is known as a corym inflorescence okay and the last type is uh, the axis is laterally flattened making a disc as in sunflower okay so you all know the uh, shape and structure of the sunflower so it is a disc like shape okay and in the sunflower the axis is laterally flattened making a disc as in sunflower and this type of inflorescence is known as a capitulum okay so student these are the four main types of inflorescence first is a resin second is a spike in uh, and in a spike flowers are arranged in the axils of the leaves and third one is a corym in which the flowers are grow growing out from the different uh, leaves axil of the different leaves and reaching the same level making a cluster of a flowers so this is a corym and fourth one the axis is laterally flattened making a disc like shape in uh, as in case of a sunflower and this is capitulum okay so i hope you all have understood this four types of inflorescence very well all right now next is a placenta so in our previous video we have seen the structure of a ovary and placenta also so what is a placenta so student placenta is a tissue that attaches the ovule to the wall of the ovary that means placenta is a type of a tissue which attaches the ovules which are present in the ovary uh, okay so the, the attachment of the ovule to the ovary it is uh, by the tissue known as a placenta all right so this is a placental tissue it attaches the ovule to the wall of a ovary all right now placentation after placenta we have placentation so what is it so student placentation is a manner in which the ovules are arranged or attached to the wall of the ovary that means in a um, previous we have seen uh, we have seen the different types of uh, inflorescence that means arrangement of a flower on a plant are different on different plants okay so here the placentation is also different for different type of a plant that is placentation is a manner in which the ovules and after maturation ovules become seed of a fruit okay so uh, mature uh, manner in which the ovules are arranged or attached to the wall of the ovary so like just like inflorescence placentation is also different for different types of a fruits and for different plants so all right now ovules turn into seed in the mature fruit it means after maturation when the fruit become mature uh, or um, the ovules will convert it into the seed for a fruit and the different arrangements can be seen in fruit so the ovules turn into seeds in the mature fruit it is transform ovary and the different arrangement can be seen in fruit such as those of pea tomato mango lotus etc for different 
fruits the different uh, arrangement of placentation is different arrangement of the seeds are different like here you can observe the marginal placentation in the peas peas plant you can observe the uh, ovules so our seeds are arranged at the marginal margin of the fruit of the pea okay and exile plus placentation in the middle or in the axis of the fruit and parietal that means on the side of the fruit and free central placentation that means here no axil is there no margin is there just uh, inside this just in the central position free central placentation is there and in the basal placentation uh, the ovules or the seeds are at the base of the fruit okay so the, this is different different kinds of a kinds of a placentation in different plants and different fruits so student i hope you all have understood today's video that's it for today thank you